Hi guys and welcome to the channel. For those who are visiting for the first time, my wife and I are a retired couple and we self-converted the Ford Transit uh, to a camper van and we live on, in it uh, pretty much year round. We finished the build uh, back in April this year and then uh, pretty much right away took off for a month-long trip to uh, the island of Haida Gwaii on the Pacific coast of uh, British Columbia. A few days ago we left uh, Calgary, Alberta and we're now on our way to Ontario. We started the trip as you saw in the previous uh, clips by um, stopping in Dinosaur Provincial Park and since then we've been driving across the Canadian prairies uh, it's pretty much a straight line all the way to Ontario. There's not very much to see. The small towns are, uh, don't have much to offer either. It's too bad because uh, they're struggling to survive. And some of them have uh, historic buildings that date back to the construction of the railroad. When we are looking for free places to spend the night, I use an app called iOverlander. Uh, this is how I found this site, which is uh, about seven kilometers outside of a town that maintains uh, this uh, little very basic uh, campground. As you can see, uh, there's a lake and uh, just a few spots around. There's room for any kind of vehicle. And it's a bit sandy, but it's doable in any kind of vehicle.
from Calgary to Ontario, the distance is just over 2,000 kilometers, but Ontario is a huge province. So from the west side of Ontario, around Lake Superior and to our destination east of Toronto is another 1,500 kilometers. Today is Saturday and we decided to visit the small town of Kenora on Lake of the Woods, Ontario. It has a population of 15,000 people and uh, we just decided to spend a few hours uh, this morning checking out the stores. We also treated ourselves to uh, lunch in a restaurant for a change. And tonight we're taking advantage of a rest area where overnight parking is permitted. So far we've been alone in the rest areas at night, uh, sometimes we shared the space with another vehicle or two, but here in White River the um, tourist information center seems to be very popular, there's all kinds of RVs, car campers, uh, bicycles.
we haven't reached our destination yet, but this will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Before you go, don't forget to click like and leave me a comment below. Let me know which was your favorite part. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.